we're in the <laughs> yeah. studio tonight with Eric uh, Eric Adams. Uh, let's go to Ella from Philly. Um, Ella, welcome to Clean Radio. Hi, Ella. Ella? Hi. 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 How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What can um, we do for you? Well, I was wondering, I have been on um, prescription pain pills from the, that are prescribed from the doctor for almost 10 years now. And I'm just wondering, where do you draw the line from, I guess, an addiction? Like, how you know if you're, I mean, I guess after 10 years you're obviously addicted. Right. Mm-hmm. But where do you draw the line of when you need to get help for that? That's a, I mean, that's, that's an amazing question. question. So basically, Ella, let's set this, you've been on prescription Oxycontin X, Oxycodone? Yes, between for, that and methadone. For te- okay, mm-hmm. well, that's, that's for 10 years. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a long time. Mm-hmm. It's a long time. A very long time. And obviously you know you have a problem. Is it fair to say that? Yeah, I guess. I guess that's kind of where I'm trying to figure out the balance. Okay, there is no balance, Mm-mm. and I hate to break your heart. I mean, I I, I don't mean to be, be the bearer of bad news, but <laughs> right. you're on some serious stuff. Mm-hmm. And, there's a physical uh, addiction. There's a physical. Obviously, yeah. There's a mental, mm-hmm. emotional, emotional. There is everything. Yeah, yeah, you're on no, some. No, it's hardcore. Ella, um, do you want to stop? Yeah, I guess I worry. Um, there's about the pain. There's definitely. I have a back condition. Okay. Um, you know, they have wonderful drugs today that mm-hmm. aren't as, uh, you know, it's amazing. You know what's amazing about drugs is, and I'm going to let Erica get to a point in a second, but you know what's amazing about drugs is one of the drugs they help detox people with is a drug called Sebutex. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what it's amazing about that drug is not only is it helping people detox, it's also really used also for pain management. And um, it's, you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a, you know, I don't want to give you advice of something else to get on. But what I'm saying is, the, I don't want you to. Be, there's people a lot. A lot of people out there are in pain and stay sober. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Um, so what are we gonna do, Eric? I mean, Ella. About I, getting you I help. Talk to the, yeah, I don't know. I talked to the doctor about it, and she doesn't seem to think that it's a problem. Uh, well, okay. Can so I can I, I ask you a really doctors. important question though? Um, I, I just wanted for you, just for you to answer this, really. You know, what have, what have been the consequences in your life for these past ten years? Question. You know, what what are the consequences not only externally, like in your family with relationships, but internally in your in your own self? I mean, the despair you must feel to be scared to actually not have something in your hand to take every day. That's really not a a really a wonderful way to live in general. So Mm -hmm. that may cause you anxiety. That may lead to other physical problems and ailments. You know, all this stuff is connected and interconnected. So I just want to ask you, what were the what are their inner consequences, really? And, you know, what is it that you feel is wrong? Um, Well, it's, you know, definitely not. You know, watching and anticipating that next time when you can take the bill is definitely... Which is hell. You know, like... What? Which is hellish. Oh, yeah. You... Um, you know, Ella, I, I have to tell you, I can totally understand where you're coming from with back problems. I had a huge, huge ordeal with the fact that I needed to get sober, and I have a hairline fracture in my coccyx and cracked four vertebrae and slipped discs, and yeah. I was on medication for that, and I take non-narcotics. I took non-narcotics, and then I learned as I was sober to apply things like, you know, stretching or yoga, and all that stuff comes later. But when you're questioning, like, how far is it and how much you're doing and what you're doing. I promise you, you can get through this. I I think Ella knows. And, and, but I know that there's other ways that you can, you know, that's good for her to know that. Yeah. And that you, I do understand where you're coming from on this. Uh, Ella, I think, I think, you know, some people don't know they have other options. Mm -hmm. You know, most people don't know know. they have other options because doctors, sadly, because doctors aren't, aren't checking or saying she doesn't have a problem. Like, which is absolutely any doctor. I hate to tell you this. He normalizes it for her. And that's what's dangerous. He validates it. After after hearing your story, any doctor that says you don't have a problem probably has a problem. Yeah. I mean, I'm so sorry you have that doctor. Get a new one. But Ella, here's the thing. Do you want to get help? Yeah, definitely. Um, do you have any sort of insurance? Uh, yeah, not great insurance. But. That's okay. I'm going to tell you what. Um, at Clean Treatment Center, um, we try to give as much as we could give away. When we try to, you know, we have this contest um, where we are giving away a bet a month since um, 
since uh, September, September until September. next Thank September. Thank you. Until next September for it's National amazing. Recovery Month. Yeah. So great. And I beg of you to please go to, if you stay on the line. Ran, our producer is going to talk to you. It's no pressure. You don't have to say your full name or anything like that. Go to our site. We'll see if we could get you in, okay? Because I want to get you in as soon I as if, if you want it, we want to get you help. Okay. And are you going to do that? I promise you don't have to give any information out of you that you don't want to. Okay. Um, okay? Hang in there, honey. Yeah. Hang in there. And anything we could do for you, please let us know. Okay, thank you. Okay, good luck, Ella, Have a good night. Bye, Bye good sweetie. luck. Oh, I know. It does. It breaks your heart. Mm. Are you struggling with an addiction that's ruining your life? Want to have a confidential conversation with a professional that will immediately assist you? Do you suspect a loved one is abusing drugs and would like a free drug testing kit and consultation? Clean Treatment Center is standing by right now to help those with addictions and the people who care about them. Call 888-601-6040. That's 888-601-6040. Or go to Clean Treatment Center, that's clean with a K, cleantreatmentcenter.com.